Well, I, I don't know what Jake is telling you about Charlie's dates, but he is a kid and he blows things out of proportion. <laughs> well, if by nude swimming you mean she had no bathing suit on whatsoever, then that never happened. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm Alan. What kind of car do you drive? A, a Volvo station wagon. What do you got? I got nothing, not a damn thing. Well, I'd better get started on that work. I have to do. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta catch up on some, uh, some paperwork that uh, has to do with the, the office. <laughs> oh yeah, your job. Uh. Mm. Your chiropractor job. Mm. Yeah, and you'll, you'll be what? You'll be writing a, a jingle. <laughs> yeah, potato chips. Uh. You know the. One's in the can. Yeah. I like those. <laughs> All right, then. Mm. Mm. I'm going to go over to the piano now. Yeah, and I'm going to go to the, 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 the kitchen and, uh... Yeah. What about Prudence? She'll be fine. Just keep her out of the liquor cabinet. Don't do anything stupid or you'll go to jail. Why would you go to jail? Well, that's kind of complicated. And why was Uncle Charlie kissing Rose? Well, that, that was the... And what are pheromones? Oh, that one I know, and, and it's pronounced Whoa. pheromones. It... Never mind. Whoa, whoa, uh, look, Prudence, this just can't happen. I mean, you're very nice and pretty, but in prison, so am I. Eviction house, man. You should run it to MTV. Who the hell are you? What's going on? Put down the toothbrush, Alan. We got bigger problems than gingivitis. So, uh, what time are you expecting Little Red Riding Hood? Oh, and I'm the big bad wolf. Very clever and not a bad game to play later. A little huffing and puffing and blowing. Um, that's the three little pigs. Same wolf, though, right? Okay, I got my school books. And your homework? Oh. <laughs> what? You got a normal-sized head. Thanks. I'm pretty happy with it. Well, I don't get it. What don't you get? I heard Mom say the reason Uncle Charlie gets into so much trouble is because he thinks with his little head. <laughs> it's not that little. Okay. You tell your mother... Charlie. ...that women are to be honored and respected. See, Jake? That's the big head talking. When he only has one head. You want to tell him, or should we let him spin for a while? I'd rather he spin. Oh, come on, at least give me a clue. All right. What do men have that women don't? Beards. Lower. Beards. You're right. Let him spin. Good morning, all. Beautiful day. You're in a good mood. Well, I suppose I am. Got a little email this morning from an ex-girlfriend who says she needs to see me. No kidding. I wonder if she's knocked up. Nobody's knocked up. I haven't heard from her in five years. So she's bringing you a four-year-old. Charlie, I, I know... Doing? Okay, go. I know this comes as a shock to you. Please. If I had a nickel for every time a girl dumped me, disappeared for five years, and came back as a guy, I'd have a nickel. 
Well, thank you so much for showing me the condos, Evelyn. Well, thank you for dinner, Bill. Thank you for dessert. <laughs> Shall we go to my place for coffee and cigars? I don't smoke. You will when I'm done with you. <laughs> Yeah, that's the problem. Do you realize what this means? Yes. I slept with a woman who wanted to be a man. Or I slept with a man in a woman's body. Or, and this is my new favorite and the title of my autobiography, my mom and I slept with the same dude. So how was your weekend? Fine. Okay. Nothing exciting happening in your world, Charlie? Like what? Oh, I don't know. Go to a fun party, see a great movie, run into an old flame with a new wick. <laughs> what are the odds, huh? One brother turns him gay, the other turns him guy. Do you know where your uncle keeps the paper towels? I think there's some up there. Whoa. Well. Hi, you must be Alan. I'm Cindy. Hi. Uh, hey, uh, Jake, it's, uh, it's time to get dressed. Wait a minute. Can you get me a bowl from that top shelf? No, let's, go. let's go. Alan, there's something you should know about me. When I say I understand, it doesn't mean I agree. It doesn't mean I understand. It doesn't even mean I'm listening. <laughs> Then why do you say it? It seems to make people happy, and that's what I'm all about. <laughs> well, it's very altruistic, but I, I would prefer if you just be straight with me. Fine. All I'm asking is that you keep in mind that we have an impressionable ten-year-old boy living here. I understand. Thank you. <laughs> Did it ever occur to you that you might want to support me, your daughter? Well, why can't we support Alan, too? Because I'm divorcing him. <laughs> well, who told you to go and do that? Uh, look, I, I appreciate your, your feelings for me, but I have to tell you, I, I really think your, your daughter deserves a lot of respect. I mean, it, it takes real courage to make changes in your life and not worry about what everybody thinks. Thank you, Alan. That's true. The lesbians of my generation were too scared to come out of the closet. <laughs> Does that mean what I think it means? You haven't told them? No, I thought it would be more appropriate coming from your mother. Okay, uh, well, I'm thankful that I can spend the holiday with, uh, all the people I love and all the people who love me. And Judith. I'm thankful I'll be dead someday and you'll all feel horrible you weren't nicer to me. And I'm thankful that our daughter gave us at least one grandchild before she... Thankful I finally found a therapist who has no compunction about prescribing powerful sedatives. Oh, I'm thankful I can sit here and listen to you rich people whine while my family's scrabbling for a corn dog at the Pomona Fairground. I know we're gonna have a baby. Yes, we are. Okay, sweetie, bye bye. So, Mr. Harper, you want a vasectomy? Yes. You do that, right? Of course we do. In the exam room next door. Snip, snip. Great. Uh, I just have a couple of pre-snip questions. Shoot. Which, by the way, you'll still do post-snip, if that was one of your questions. Well, good. Of course, if I've done my job right, you'll be shooting blanks, yeah? Yeah, I got that. Uh, you'll be able to perform exactly as you did before. Well, great. But what about, like, uh, creativity? See, I write music for a living. Will I still be able to do that? Do you write with your testicles? No. Then it shouldn't be a problem. Frozen sperm, I don't know. Oh, why not? Well, you know, you freeze shrimp. It's never as good as fresh. <laughs> That's really not the same thing. So you know for a fact that frozen kids are just the same as the regulars? Yeah, pretty much. Of course, when they grow up, they do tend to migrate to the sun belt. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, wow. That one kills at urology conventions. Happiest place on earth, my snow white ass. <laughs> Uh, 
I had a good time. <laughs> oh, really? Which part did you like best? The equatorial heat, the endless lines, or the large German woman that threw up on me in a teacup? <laughs> the only thing a man can control is his own actions. <laughs> Alan, wake up. We got a problem. Taxi cab confessions? If you got bugs, if you got hands, if you got bugs and slides and flugs and things that crawl. Huh? Isn't that Beethoven? is going to be a lesbian. It's oral sex. Hates. Hey, Uncle Charlie, show Mom how he mopped the floor with my hair. Well, it's not really mopping. It's more like dusting. Like, what if you drop him on his head? I guess I will have to mop. <laughs> Family history? Well, your grandmother's always been a pain in the ass. Gonzalez? Right here. I'm Gonzalez. No, you're not. Oh, right. He's Gonzalez. Oh, hey, Judith. No, it's me, Charlie. What am I doing with Alan's phone? Why, do you want custody of that, too? Oh, come on, that's funny. I don't know. Maybe Alan and I accidentally switched phones. Why don't you try calling him on mine? 310, lick me. <laughs> hey, we're here for fun, right? Nobody wins or loses. Oh, come on. Somebody always loses. <laughs> Who are we kidding? It's eight to one out there, and everybody here knows it. And, and you know, I'll tell you another thing. We haven't won a game all season, and I'll put that in the newsletter. And as God is my witness, there will be a newsletter. You know, Frankie, there are many fine hotels in the area. I can't stay in a hotel. Why not? Wow, that is a very good question. <laughs> so, uh, where are you from? Guess. I wouldn't know where to begin. Oh, wow. Good question. Guess. How about that? What a nice girl. Yeah? Of course, we still don't know a damn thing about her. True. Although that is one big-ass house she lives in. Mm. Or is robbing. <laughs> that would make us the, uh, the duped getaway drivers. <laughs> Moron accessories to grand theft. Yeah. <laughs> That's a major felony, is what that is. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Hard time. Uh. I can't do hard time, Charlie. I have allergies. That's gonna be your biggest problem. I don't know why I even bother talking to you. Alan. What? I thought we had a pact to never go to bed mad. <laughs> Leave me alone. Oh, come on. Don't you want a spoon? I swear to God, you are gonna lose that hand. That's not my hand. <laughs> Mom! You're a great guy, Charlie. Great guy and a kiss on the cheek. Why doesn't she just kick me in the balls? Come on, come on. Let's get you tucked in, you crazy son of a bitch. Gort. Klatu barata nikto. What? You know. 
Now, what I think you need to do is to make a list. On one side, put what you don't like about our marriage, and on the other side, what you do. Alan, sometimes when I think about coming home to you, I start crying in my car. <laughs> okay, that would probably go on the don't side. Why would I lie? The ocean is closed today. <laughs> so you decided that uh, Jake would stay with me? With you? Well, with us. I'm hungry. Is this going to be a problem? I guess not. Thanks. Oh, uh, hey, listen, I I've got to call my office. Would you mind making him lunch? Sure. Thanks. What are you smiling about? You don't have any food. Yeah, but I'm not the one who's hungry. Who's smiling now, shorty? How you feeling? Horrible. <laughs> Is that tea? Yeah. <laughs> Look, I know I said I wanted you out of the house for my day tonight, but you're obviously indisposed, so don't worry about it. Thank you. Just stay in your room so the coughing and hacking doesn't kill the moon. Anything else I could do to enhance your evening? Well, you know how to work my camcorder? Is done yet? Yeah, we're done. Now we're gonna get your father back on his feet. How? Well, would you like to go see a bunch of naked boobs? Sure. Charlie? This was a dirty trick, Uncle Charlie. Oh boy, are we gonna have a new daddy? Oh, bite me, Charlie. <laughs> now, I'd like to have a dinner at the house so you boys can meet him. What night is good for you? Uh, what night do you want us? Uh-uh-uh. I asked you first. Uh, well, Tuesday's Jake's here bad. weekend. is Thursday to check my season. calendar. Don't really want to. <laughs> Tomorrow night, 7 o'clock. It's very important to me, and I hope you can make it. But I'll certainly understand if you're too busy for your mother. You know what she's trying to do, don't you? Of course I know. But maybe one of us should go. Oh, sure, you go, I look bad. What do you care? I don't care. Then don't go. I'm not going. I'm not going either. I'm not staying. Fine, I'll put on my stupid jacket, we'll get in a stupid car, and we'll go stupid clothes shopping. Hey, don't talk to your stupid father like that. Alan, we're never going to find the right look for you unless we experiment. Now, let's see. I'm not happy with visible nipples. Yeah, that's what's wrong with it. That's it. We need a gay guy. And that was quick. Yeah. Like every other time Judith screwed me. What happened? What happened? I'll tell you what happened. My settlement conference turned into a drive-by colonoscopy. That's right. <laughs> but you know what the, uh, the interesting thing is? No. What? Uh, after it was all over, and uh, Judith and her attorney went dancing out of the room, I asked Laura why she had done this to me, and she said, and I quote, ask your brother. <laughs> so here I am asking you, why, Charlie? 
why did my very expensive Beverly Hills divorce lawyer sell me out? <clears throat> okay. Okay. I'll tell you the whole story. But maybe you should sit down first. Man.